Hi guys, this lesson is all about answering the question, what is intonation? Now intonation as a general term means, is the note that is being heard in tune? Um, practically on a guitar, this refers to one of either two things. One, when you're bending notes up, um, is that note that you're bending to the one that you intended to bend it to and the one that needs to be heard? Um, and the second one is from a, almost a guitar setup point of view is the notes not only at the open string in tune so for example not only is that open E string in tune is it in tune when you fret it at the third fret so is that really a, a G note for example is it at seventh fret is that one still in tune um, what can happen with certainly with some cheaper guitars or, or guitars of any price range that just aren't well set up, and we'll cover more what, what that term means in a second, um, whether every, any fret, so when you're playing higher up the fretboard, um, are your notes still in tune? Now to cover the first one, um, from a note bending point of view, what you want to be aware of is whether you're going for a one fret or a two fret bend. So um, if I use the example, let's go up at the, um, from your E pentatonic scale, um, if you walk up that from the lowest E notes up to uh, the G string on your third finger, um, really common bluesy or rocky type bends is bending a, that third finger, this note, up two frets which should sound like that and it's bending it up to the sound of that same string that same fret but up two frets to 14th fret so from 14 to 16 to that note um, and if it doesn't sound quite like that that's generally known as bad intonation and solos don't sound as good and your bends don't sound as good um, and I've got a little video now on, um, on what, how you can check the intonation on your guitar using a guitar tuner um, just to check that your guitar is well set up, so enjoy that. Intonation is the notes um, being the same and being in tune wherever you are on a guitar neck, so usually cheaper guitars or guitars that haven't been set up, um, which is a, a term that I'll explain later if you, if you choose to watch that video. Um, they can be out of tune when you play higher up the neck, particularly if your strings are very high off the fretboard or anything like this. So a quick way to check your intonation that it's good is to play, for example, an open top E string, just the open string, that is perfectly in tune. Then play the E at the 12th fret, and you can see that that one is just a touch low, but pretty good. When I've picked the note initially, it's perfectly in tune and then as it rings out a bit it just slips down so that's pretty good intonation and you could try that at any any string any fret and it, you know just checking the octaves of each of the note maybe the highest note you see the highest note there my D is absolutely dead on let's try it with the low E string low E pretty much in tune high E Again, pretty much in tune, so the intonation on this guitar is pretty good. Um, G string is the one that you would do most of your bending on. So let's try the G string. Open G, and the higher G, just the 12th fret at where the double dot is. And you can see this guitar's intonation is pretty good. Try that on your guitar, and it's a pretty good inclination of whether, whether your guitar needs a setup, or if this sort of stuff is starting to influence your playing, and you can tell this sort of stuff while you're playing. Um, you might want to think about getting a new guitar.